Okay, it's the next day now. Time for round two on this root beer chert biface. Got a little bit wet outside. It was raining all night. I got sent home from work because it was, oops, it was too wet at the site, so we couldn't work. So we got a rain day, but we still got paid for the morning, so that's good. Anyways, this was the last flake I got off yesterday. I'm gonna keep it like that. Um, keeping some of the other large flakes. Um, so today, what I'm gonna do is using this hammer stone, keep thinning this down. I'm gonna take a few flakes this way. These are gonna be my sides. I'm gonna bring it in this way. That'll be the width. This will be the length. I think that'll be easier. I've already got these ridges set up this way so I can continue that way doing some nice thinning. And it's fairly thin at the bottom and straight and already kind of pointed at the tip here. So yeah, even though it's pretty long and I'll have to you know, pretty much waste a lot of material to get that worked in, that's fine. Yeah. Hopefully this camera angle works out today. I think it I think it worked out pretty well for the last one yesterday. said when I started yesterday I, I thought this chart was going to be really tough for some reason but it's it's quite nice you know it's pretty glassy um, nups you know pretty well Even though it it chews up this sandstone hammer pretty pretty quickly, I really like the way it maps using it. Seems to absorb the the shock just right. Took a few tries. It's a 
pretty heavy platform on there. There's a bit of a messy spot starting there, but that fixed it. Start working in this edge now before I get too carried away there. Mm -hmm.
there it is. Again, that took a few tries, but it worked out in the end. It's a pretty nice flake for a really small point or something. Oops. <laughs> well, I guess that happens when you're working chert instead of obsidian. Yeah. Maybe this is a quartzite. Doesn't really look like a sandstone. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, well, um, I'll just have to get used to using a different part of the stone to hit this, because, yeah, that's not going to absorb the shock the same way it was.
Turning the tick shape. Stepped out a little bit at the end. Okay, I got a lot of width to work with here. Got rid of some of that step and it terminated nicely, although it kind of bit in a little deep and didn't take out the middle ridge like I wanted, but oh well, that's a nice another little flake for a little point or something. came off in two pieces for whatever reason but this part came down that ridge at least a little bit
<laughs> well, it worked out, but I hit the wrong spot. I was aiming for this, well, aiming for this platform. I hit that one, but dang, that was pretty cool. <laughs> worked out really well. Cool flake. This stuff sounds amazing. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. There we go. Fixed it up a little. Finally, a little bit of sunshine poking through. I haven't seen that in a couple days. Gotta get all the cortex off of this face, so pretty much gonna leave this one alone now. I'm trying to set up a kind of continuous platform here so I can use the antler to hopefully take some nice crossing, thinning flakes off in a sequence.
think this is at a good size now where it's comfortable for you know, a little bit of freehand percussion and also getting those nice flakes off. Um, yeah, I've got it set up here and then I can also I'll just do a little bit of work to set up the same kind of platforms to go from the other edge. Hope this sun isn't kind of affecting the, the camera. Thank you. Probably you can see it better actually. Fix that up later. Alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's definitely long enough for this video. 30 min over 30 minutes now okay well yeah in the end I'm pretty happy with pretty happy with this one um, yeah it's really nice material to work with I love it so far I'm gonna try and get this really thin try and keep it fairly wide I'd like you know I usually end up making my points too narrow because I'm going after thinness and not doing that quite you know efficiently enough but getting there each time I thin down a biface I you know get just a little bit better at it okay well that's enough for this one as always thanks for watching catch you next time cheers